Well, probably one of the guttiest performances I've seen uh, since I've been the coach here. I'd put it up there with the Iona for my first year. I think we're down 17 with eight to go. Um, just from a, an all-out, gut-out performance, I thought this this team, these six guys were just refused, you know, kind of the old Cal, John Calipari thing, refused to lose. Um, and and no, no pun, they had a, a heart of a champion. And, um, you know, great win for our program. Steve, you made the adjustment in the second half after playing a little more up tempo in the first start to grind it out a little more after the intermission? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, it's not a style I like to play, but I also, um, you know, I, I do want to adjust and try to play to the strengths. Um, you know, and I thought their pace was pretty good. I wanted to more pick and choose our spots when we could speed them up, and I thought we did that. We turned them over 25 times. We had 35 deflections tonight, and we attempted nine charges. So I thought we did a great job of, of Tyler and Cap picking on choosing their spots when to really get after the guards. And, um, you know, I thought Zane Waterman gave us great minutes, 9-9. Nine nine. He almost had a double-double in 28 minutes. Um, you know, Mac, uh, Tom Capiano played like a, a, a you know, 30-year vet tonight, in my opinion, and Tyler Wilson, seven assists, two, two turnovers. And these two guys are just, they're the real deal. And, um, you know, Rich, this is Batman and Robin. Shane, they came out, give Mason credit. They wanted to stop Shane, and Rich picked up all the slack. Coach, you mentioned Tom Capiano. One of, would you say that one of, if there's anything you, positive out of all the injuries that, there, that, that the team has gone through this year, one of the positives has been the play of Tom Capuan and him being able to get more minutes and you've really seen him on the floor. And ah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I think his development, I, I think he's, you know, probably played, the minutes he's played on this early season already, are, I better more than probably most freshmen in the, in the country. Um, you know, so it's, it's definitely, a, you know, he's going to, when league play comes around in January, he's going to be really that much more experience. So it'll definitely benefit us down the road. Um, you know, I'm just happy for these guys. That, you know, we, we can get a, a, a good, Grind it out, heart, heart win, and um, you know, hopefully have a, a decent Thanksgiving. During the middle of the run, the second half, did you get a sense that this team was getting back to who they were and who they've been over the years with the ball pressure? I, I have no doubt about who this team is. We, we're just not healthy. You know, I, I, listen, the, the basketball side of things, the personnel side of things, the um, how these young men act, I'm responsible for. Um, you know, the, the health. Uh, you know, listen, I, I'm, I'm thinking about this off season, going to med school. Um, it's something I'm gonna look into. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm serious. It's something I might pursue. Um, I'm not sure. And and you know, if, if I do do that, then I'll I'll be you know I'll, I'll handle that too. But right now, I'm just gonna handle the basketball and trust my trainers to do the best they can to get these young men back on the court healthy. Rich, all around after for you, 26 points, nine boards. Did you feel like you needed to take matters into your own hands a little more with, <coughs> with the, uh, the shortage of manpower? Not really. Uh, you know, every night I try to come out. And compete, and early on in the year, I felt like I've been letting my team down, <clears throat> especially with uh, the amount of guys we had today. I just wanted to come out and just and do what I do, trust the process. I've been here. Other other guys previous years helped me, so it was time for me to step up a little bit. Steve, if you to follow up on that, you've always mentioned the first team impact that you feel he can have. Yeah, yeah, he he is. You know, but when you have Emmy and and George or AP or or. Ramel or, or Mike or whoever it is ahead of him, and you say, Rich, it's not your time right now. Come here, learn how to be those guys, pay your dues, we're going to win, and then when your time comes, now it's his time. And and there are some very good players behind him. You know, Calvin Crawford's going to be a very good player. Um, you know, there are good guys behind him when they get healthy, and he's, you know, it's his it's his time to go now. He knows that, he's paid his dues, he's, he's, he understands what the process is in winning. And, uh, you know, I have all the faith in the world, and I always have. Um, it's never it's never been about that. It's just about him understanding that we've had good players here, and he sacrificed a lot because of the person he is, because he wants to win, and that, that's why he's fun to coach. Shane, can you take us through that last possession? Put the ball in the basket. <laughs> uh, I, I was just I was just praying to God we didn't have another George Mason from last year. I saw it in my head. I was like, oh, please, not again. Please, please, not again. Uh, unfortunately for me and our team, uh, Thompson missed that last three. But yeah, just like Coach said, overall good win for us. And the difference is Shane makes a free throw this year. You know, that's a big that's a big play uh, for Shane. And and you know I think something that's underrated is the part of Shane's game where he'll go in the post now, post some guys up and go get contact. And that's what pro two guards do. You know not only can play on the perimeter, he'll go inside and post you at six five and draw contact and get to the line. So I'm I'm really proud of on a, on a not one of his better shooting nights that he can still go get a bucket when the game's online. Looking ahead to Fordham on Saturday, Rector's usually thrown out the window in rivalry games like that. This is for all of you. Had how much do you feel a win like this can galvanize the momentum even more? You know, I think it's good. 
you know, it, it's always good to get a win. You always want to get a win. But, you know, we, we just do things different here. You know, we really do. And I'm not saying that that losing is okay. I'm just saying that in a sense of where our checkpoints aren't the public's checkpoints. Our checkpoints are, you know, what are our deflections? What's our field goal percentage defense? So, yeah, when you win or lose it, it listen, you always want to win and learn. But I don't think it's momentum because we approach every game as a new game. The Battle of the Bronx is the Battle of the Bronx. And it's a, it's a huge game for the alumni and fans. But we're not going to approach Fordham any different than we would George Mason or any different than we did St. Mary's. We have a lot of respect for the program. The job coach is done. I think they've won three in a row now, or maybe four. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I know they're playing great basketball. They had one loss to... Uh, UT and, and those UT has now had two great wins, so that tells you how good UT is. And that's a tough place to play. So we know how good forms can be. We know they're going to be ready. We know they're going to want it. We just have to go out, you know, and see see what we can do. We'll be undermanned again, you know, and um, you know Fordham will be the favorite, and they should be. And, and we'll come in and just stay. Hey, we'll try to do what we can. Coach Matt Maloney, um, from what I can remember, drew at least three or four charges yeah. and hit a huge three yeah. too. What can you say about um, him stepping up to it? I'm proud of him. You know, he's a young man that obviously he, he's, he's my family. But uh, I'm really proud of him because sometimes it's harder on family. Sometimes it's harder. Um, you know, I've played with guys who are, who are coaches' sons related to the coach. And sometimes it's harder on them because of expectations. And what he's done a great job of is doing the little things. He knows who he is. He's very comfortable with who he is. So he does all the other things he needs to do to stay on the court. And that's what I'm most proud of. And he's, and he's playing fearless basketball. So he's doing a lot of good things right now. And I think his best days are yet to come. Um, you know, he played 20 minutes and didn't rebound the basketball. That's inexcusable, so he gets no mashed potatoes or corn mm -hmm. at the uh, Thanksgiving table tomorrow.